Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to load the light adjustable lens. So first you fill the nozzle with viscoelastic as well as the base of the cartridge. And there are two ridges. There's a ridge on the right and there's a ridge on the left of the cartridge. So you make sure it's well lubricated so it doesn't scratch the lens. Then you grab the light adjustable lens by its haptic and you gently lay it down on the cartridge. You want to make sure it's oriented just like the image of the IOL on the flap of the cartridge. And you want to make sure that the lens is seated forward. Let the leading haptic touch the nozzle all the way forward to the left. It's very important to note the location of these ridges. The edge of the optic needs to be tucked under these ridges. As you close the flaps, the lens will tend to float up. And so you want to make sure it doesn't float up above these ridges. You don't have to press down on the lens, but you can put an instrument to inhibit it from floating up. As you fold the wings of the cartridge halfway, the lens will be locked in position. And then you want to make sure that the leading haptic goes into the tunnel of the cartridge. So as you snap it closed, make sure that the leading haptic is in the tunnel and it's not trapped or kinked. Then take the trailing haptic and lift it over the ridge. This will make sure that it's out of the way of the plunger so it doesn't get kinked. So now it's time to place this cartridge into the injector and you reverse it into the tip. Slide it backwards until it's all the way pressed up against the injector. Now you rotate the purple part to lock in the cartridge. Make sure that the trailing haptic is up and out of the way. And then as you advance it, you'll see that the leading haptic goes through the tunnel. Okay, so it looks like we are ready. Let's take it to the eye. I use a second instrument for counter traction. And then we're going to place the injector through the incision. Make sure that the notch of the injector passes the capsular rexus and iris. And as you advance, rotate the injector clockwise so that the haptic comes out planar. And then you're going to rotate counterclockwise about 180 degrees to deliver the lens. I then remove the injector. I like using a Kuglin to dial the lens into the bag. I put the Kuglin at the lens haptic junction and we just rotate it in. And uh, that's basically it. I hope you found this video helpful. Have your surgical tech watch this video a couple times so they're familiar loading the lens. And it's important that you as the surgeon know how to load your lenses because you might get a surgical tech who's not familiar. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.